Here we are at the John and Olive Diefenbaker Museum. If you visited this museum before, you may be quite familiar with Mr. Diefenbaker's backstory, but less familiar with the backstory of the women in his life. In this video today, we will be sharing information about the wives that Mr. Diefenbaker had, Edna and Olive, as well as his mother, Mary. Edna May Diefenbaker, née Brower, was born on November 30, 1899, in Wawanisa, Manitoba, to Chauncey Brower and Marin Pauline Knutson Brower. Edna worked as a school teacher at Mayfair Elementary School in Saskatoon before marrying John Diefenbaker in 1929 at the age of 28. It is said that Edna was a caring and outgoing person, making her popular with teachers and students alike. Edna played a crucial role in Mr. Diefenbaker's early political career as well as being very supportive of his legal career. Edna passed away after a lengthy battle with leukemia on February 7, 1951. The house that we were in was actually Edna's dream house, where she lived with Mr. Diefenbaker for several years before her passing. Prior to living in the home now known as the John and Olive Diefenbaker Museum, John and Edna lived in a one-story home located at 22 20th Street West in Prince Albert from 1929 until 1947. If you visit the museum, you can see photos of Edna when she lived in both homes as well as gaze through the windows in the sunroom, which was considered to be her favorite room in the house. Edna is buried in Saskatoon alongside Mr. Diefenbaker's parents, William and Mary Diefenbaker, as well as his brother Elmer at Woodlawn Cemetery in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. For more information on Edna, you can check out the biography written about her by Sima Holt called The Other Mrs. Diefenbaker. Mr. Diefenbaker's second wife, Olive Evangeline Diefenbaker, née Freeman, was born on April 14, 1902 in Roland, Manitoba to Charles Freeman and Angie Eaton. She had two siblings, Muriel Freeman and Harold Freeman. Her father was a Baptist minister from Canning, Nova Scotia, and her family moved around often during her childhood because of her father's occupation. Olive first met her second husband, John Diefenbaker, at the First Baptist Church, where her father was a minister. Following graduation from McMaster University and the Ontario College of Education, Olive began her career teaching in high school in 1933. In 1934, Olive married Harry F. Palmer, who was a lawyer and cellist with the Toronto Symphony. They had one child during their marriage, a daughter named Carolyn, prior to Palmer's death in 1937. During her marriage to Mr. Palmer, Olive stepped away from her profession, but after his untimely death, she started a new career as the Director of Child Guidance for the Ontario Department of Education. Olive reunited with Mr. Diefenbaker following Edna's passing, and they married in 1953 in Toronto, Ontario. Olive had several hobbies, including sewing, leatherwork, and metalwork. It is also said that she would give items from her closet to local bazaars supporting women's institutes. An example is her white fitted floral hat bought by Mrs. Bell Hall, an Ontario counsellor. Olive passed away on December 22, 1976 in Ottawa, Ontario. She is buried alongside Mr. Diefenbaker outside the Diefenbaker Canada Centre overlooking the South Saskatchewan River at the University of Saskatchewan in Saskatoon. Olive Diefenbaker Drive here in Prince Albert is named in her honour. Mary Florence Diefenbaker, née Bannerman, was born on October 26, 1873 in Gray County, Ontario. She married her husband William Diefenbaker in 1894. She was one of her son's closest confidants and it is said that she had more influence on his decisions than either of his wives did. Mary would receive letters and phone calls every week from Diefenbaker discussing all aspects about government business. Diefenbaker described his mother as having a determined personality and that his mom gave him more drive to pursue his goals. Mary was interested in fine china and had a highly regarded collection of green Limoges which is on display here at the museum. Diefenbaker often said that his mother told him since he was young that he would become Prime Minister one day. Mary passed away on February 20th, 1961 and is buried alongside her husband, her son Elmer, and daughter-in-law Edna at Woodlawn Cemetery in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. This concludes our video on the important women in Mr. Diefenbaker's life. If you have any questions or would like to learn more, please visit the John and Olive Diefenbaker Museum this summer. The John and Olive Diefenbaker House is open seven days a week from 9 to 5 until September 3rd.